back to my channel okay so this video just needs explanation i don't have many words okay so obviously you can tell that we have been in a car all day long we are both extremely tired we both look extremely rough psyche was just not feeling good this entire video his stomach was just like messing with him and so i was very reluctant to post this video but i don't want it to go to waste so i'm gonna post it anyways hopefully that you guys can enjoy it in some way this is a video that i had planned for this week so i'm gonna go ahead and stick with what i said and i'm still gonna upload this video for this week because i want to be able to give you guys a second video for this week because that is what i do is i do two videos a week i love these kind of videos i think they're really fun don't know if you guys are gonna like them if you guys don't want to watch this there might be some chewing sounds maybe every once in a while i try to edit them out as much as possible but if you don't want to watch it then go ahead and skip this video but i'm gonna post this anyways because i know some people think that these are interesting so if you guys want to stick around and then just keep watching and i'm excited to have some food with you guys so grab some food and enjoy this mm, masterpiece slash disaster <laughs> This is such a different video for me and very much outside of my comfort zone. But today we're going to be doing a mukbang and mukbang. However you say it, I'm not quite sure. I think it's a mukbang. I looked it up and it said mukbang. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a mukbang. Which is basically an eating show where you eat and you talk to people. And it's basically like we're sitting down eating a meal together. So if you want, go grab some food and enjoy a nice meal with us. As you can see right now, we are not at home we are currently in a hotel room and this is just like takeout that we got at some random pizza place because we are on a road trip right now and we're on our way back home from psyche's graduation in phoenix it was really fun mm -hmm. but now we're like on the last leg of it and we just like want to get home so bad so we look really rough today was a very long day <laughs> i have like no makeup on we look yeah. very very rough we drove for over seven hours today yeah. and was, we're just dead it was one of those days where it's like you push through so hard that you don't like nourish your body well because you yeah. just want to get to your destination. You can't like drink because then you don't want to pee and then it's just and like... Let me tell you, Interstate 40, for those of you who live in America and are watching this, it's is the worst. rough. It's there, the worst. It's, it's just road and desert. There's yeah. maybe a stop every like hour and a half. It was rough. It was so, not good. So like we yeah. had to hold our pee super long. We just didn't drink a lot so that we didn't have to stop. We haven't eaten no stops. a lot. You haven't eaten a lot either. We ate so. McDonald's today. So I mean yeah. we're not eating the best. But but we're starving. Like yes, we're so we have this we pizza. Protein, carbs, and veggies. There you go. Protein, carbs, veggies. Well balanced meal. <laughs> we got this pizza and it has garlic herb crust with pine grilled pineapple, bacon, and spinach. Then we got these wings. Mm. What are they? Barbecue and honey mustard. And honey mustard. And then I got you can't see this, but I got this house or house salad. Chef, salad, chef salad. Um, just because I wanted a little bit of healthiness in there so. and basically today we're going to be answering some questions i asked you guys to ask us some questions for this video because i knew that we wouldn't be able to film another kind of video and this is something that i've wanted to film for a long time and i'm like you know what now is the best time so we're just gonna be chilling eating food go grab some food if you want we're gonna just eat some eat our pizza eat our wings eat our food while we answer some questions we're just gonna have a little hangout sesh as you can <laughs> see i already like bit out a little piece of there yeah she did so she i'm gonna start a game of car so I just want a piece of pizza right now. Okay. Oh, also I asked for five ranches because I didn't know how big they were. I thought they were gonna be like this size, but we have this size ranches. They're literally huge, so we have a lot of ranch. But if you know me, you know that is perfect amount of ranch for me. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Yeah, let's go ahead and pray for our food. Do you wanna pray? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, no. no okay, I'll pray, I'll pray, pray. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Thank you that we got to this hotel safely. Thank you that we're able to eat food with our friends on the internet and that we can have a good rest for a night, good rest in our bed tonight, and good sleep and a good trip back home tomorrow. Bless us to our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, now. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm going to cry, bro. This is such good pizza. This is, we're in Bakersfield, California. Mm -hmm. Bakersfield Pizza Company. Love Club? Yep, for those of you who are either in locals here or are passing by, we highly recommend. Very good. Okay, question time. Let's answer some questions. Would you ever do, this is a good question for right now because we're like so sick of driving. Mm -hmm. Would you ever do a 50 state road trip besides Alaska and Hawaii? I guess 48. So would you ever do like an across nation road trip? I would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
And one of my main goals would be to hit all 30 baseball parks, baseball stadiums. One of my goals would be to go to all the national parks. That's the other goal. That'd be really, really fun. Uh -huh. If you guys don't know, we just went to the Grand Canyon yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, so beautiful. Oh. But yeah, baseball stadiums and national parks. If we were to do that. Yeah. And we like, would definitely take lots of stops though. Like I wouldn't want to drive like 12 hour days. Like, oh no. That would not eight be enjoyable. At most. Eight at most. Yeah. Maybe. Ah, not eight. I mean eight if we were like really going to a destination, but like for a road trip, I feel like four hours is like the max. Like in a day. Yeah, I guess. Like for a road trip to like go and like travel around the country. I don't know, maybe like six. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like maybe six, but I don't think I could even do that much, but. Yeah, cause today was seven, today was. Today was seven today and was it was hard. really rough. Like we reached like five hours and we were just like. We just wanted to. Like I was so car sick. I literally thought I was gonna throw up all day. Well, cause at some point you're driving so fast for so long that you feel like you're crawling. And yeah, like, and I get car sick really easily. Like. I mean, we were going 75, 75 ish cause it's the speed limit. And after three hours of 75, it's like you're walking. It's mm -hmm. weird. It's like so slow. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Where do you guys see yourself in 10 years? Oh, that's a hard question. Wherever the Lord, years? wherever the Lord leads us, there you go. I mean, yes, but. Well, because I don't know. That's my only answer. I mean, it's kind of a couple answer, but also yes, wherever the Lord leads us. But like in 10 years, where we're going to be, we're going to be like, I'm going to be 30, mm -hmm. 31. You're going to be 33, 32. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably have kids. And hopefully have a house, hopefully have a dog. I'd like to have a dog. And that's pretty much the only thing I know. I mean, I don't really even know that that's gonna happen, Lord willing. But yeah, I mean, pretty much where the Lord takes us, but we have no plans. Yeah, we really don't know. <laughs> What's your least favorite thing about being married? <laughs> Nothing. I was gonna say, there really isn't anything. I don't know. Well, I don't like the fact that I've changed my name. I still haven't changed my name yet. Oh. And I still haven't gotten a new license yet, so. Well, that that's only that's only because of COVID that things have been kind of closed. Yeah. And we haven't been able to get to it as easy as. Like know, California, really. they were closed like the whole COVID pretty much. That's okay. It's like I wasn't able to get it, but other than that, I don't I don't just like anything about marriage. Like marriage is the best thing ever. No, and it's like one of those things where if we had friends to go see that we wanted to, if we in, each individually like, if someone's thinking of the freedom that. Marriage yes. kind of takes away. It's like there oh. really is no freedom that no. marriage would take away if you were single. Like if Chloe wanted to go hang out with a group of people, it'd be like I would do it. Go ahead. <laughs> well, and it's like we're realizing like on this trip how great it is to be married because it's so much easier. It's convenient. Like we can just stay in the same hotel room. You don't have to worry about it. Like you don't have to worry. Like it's just so much easier. You don't have to figure anything out. So much easier that way. So we. Have it, it is. Yeah. Do you enjoy traveling together? Yes. Yes, I love traveling with you. It's so fun. My favorite person to travel with. Mm -hmm. It's like traveling with your best friend everywhere. I love it. Yeah, and like, especially since we went to the Grand Canyon this yesterday, mm -hmm. um, that was our first time seeing it. So when we get to experience new things like that together, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. And then we have those memories together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I want to eat a wing. I do too. We're going to pause the questions. I really want to try one of these wings. Is there a flat one? I like the flat ones. Mm -hmm. These are barbecue. Oh, wang, bro. I want to try it without the This is such a weird video for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I bet you no one will watch this video, honestly. Oh. I feel like people are not going to know what a mukbang is. I just knew it because I know YouTube. Oh. But. Mmm. I love this one. I like this one a lot. It's spicy, though. Oh, really? I think so. I saw that one thing, like, where you can eat a flat bone wing, like, by oh, wow. eating the end of it, and I just don't understand that. Yeah. I haven't even touched my salad yet. Oh yeah. That's the thing I got and I haven't touched it yet because I'm just so hungry. I'm like, salad's the last thing I want to eat right now. It's weird because we haven't eaten so much today that it's like our stomachs are so small. We probably can't even have, eat that much. We probably can't even eat this much food, to be quite honest. We got a medium pizza. And wings. A dozen wings and a salad, a, a small salad. Yeah, that was the small salad. Yeah, we probably only- I imagine the large. We probably only should have gotten the wings and the pizza, but- I'll eat it. If not, I'll eat it tomorrow. Yeah, we have a fridge. Mm -hmm. Fridge and hotels. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to ask me a question, dude? Okay. Who farted on who first? That's Will. Hey, Will. Shout out, Will. Shout out, Will. Best buddy, Will. Um, yeah, who farted on who first? Dude? That was definitely me, because Chloe has yet to fart in front of me right now. Yet. 
Guys, this is, let me tell you. She's too afraid to. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was too afraid to. I was very shy about my farting. But now, it's become a challenge, and now I'm trying to see how long I can go without him ever hearing me fart, because literally, it's been so long. She's so competitive with herself. We've been married almost nine months. <laughs> <laughs> She's not farting in front of me yet. Like, what is this? Everyone thinks that's so weird. I mean, it is kind of weird. Yeah, a little bit. But yeah, I'm just, I haven't farted in front of him and I probably won't until I'm like 80 years old. So, <laughs> might have some digestion issues, but. That's what I always tell her. It's like. Let me wipe you off. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, someone says, don't want to be rude, but Psyche is his real name? Question <laughs> mark. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've explained this before in a video. So, so Psyche's not your real name. No. No. So Psyche is not my real name. Basilios is my real name. Mm -hmm. Basilios means king in Greek. And so does Roy, isn't and it? So does Roy. Roy is not Greek. Roy is French. But right? it's still um, king, king. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, in the Greek culture, um, they will have different names for their little ones. So mine was Vasileki, which meant little Vasilios. And they have <laughs> other, you know, different kind of names for little kids. Um, Vasilaki, so cute. Vasilaki, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, but my cousin, who was about two at the time, couldn't say that shortly after I was born. Couldn't say Vasilaki, so she called me Psyche. And there you go. It just kind of stuck. Yeah, like it literally. Like I've never, ever, ever, ever called him Vasilios, and I don't know a single person that ever has. Or Taylor, ever. Taylor does. calls me Vasilios. Really? Yeah. People say like, 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 oh, that's your nickname, but like that's like your name, like. Literally yeah. nobody calls him Vasilios at all. So yeah. like that's his name. I was called Vasilios. To me, he's psyche. I was called Vasilios for my, for my. Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah, tell them how you how they said it. So maybe Chloe can spell it out on like the bottom or the top here. Actually, how it's spelled. Yeah, I'll put it right here. Vasilios. They had it on the card. Vasilios, Psyche, Roy, right? And then I put a pronunciation for Psyche to like make it easier to pronounce because it's spelled S-A-I-K-I. -I. So you could say like Psyche or yeah, like- Yeah, so you wouldn't okay. necessarily think of it. They pronounced it Vasios C.K. Roy. Vasios C.K. Vasios C.K. Roy was how they pronounced my name. C.K. At, at my college graduation. How do you get Psyche to C.K.? After I phonetically spelled it out. Like what? It was definitely one of the more kind of like frustratingly funny moments of my life considering that's literally your college graduation? I will be immortalized at Grand Canyon University as Vasios C.K. Roy. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. And another one I've gotten is, because um, you know, Psyche Roy, right? Another one I've gotten is Roy Sakai. And Roy Sakai, because Roy's a first name too. Yeah, and if you were there for that one, you'll oh remember gosh. that one being pretty funny. Oh my gosh. How did you meet and what made the other special? We met at a worship conference mm -hmm. in 2019. Mm -hmm. We were in the same friend group and- um, It was a two week long worship conference. Yes. Imagine like a youth camp, but for adults. Like a summer camp, but for adults. That's essentially what it was. Like, you don't like sleep in cabins and stuff. Like you just like sleep at hotels and stuff or like at your house. <laughs> but imagine a camp for adults. That's pretty much what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. You learn so like you know you have like a friend group at camp, you like people you hang out with like for the majority of your time and you go to bed late, you wake up early. Yeah. Then, you know, but you yeah, take but adult, that, like, that's how we yeah. yeah. You take like adult classes, you learn you yeah, learn. It was stuff like really and, good. Yeah, it was excellent. And it was a worship conference, it was really yeah, cool. It was excellent. And that's that's where we met. And same friend group. Same friend group. So we were just like friends and he would drive me around because my car didn't work and so he would give me rides to, mm -hmm. to the conference and stuff. Like her chauffeur. He was like my little chauffeur. Yeah. We were just friends and then ended up like that was in a July and I think mm -hmm. ended up the rest of the year. The rest of the summer we just like talked over the phone and over text and FaceTime. Mm -hmm. And then in December he came to Reading and asked me out. Yep. That's, That's like it. pretty much it summed up. Short story short. Long yeah. short story short. Long story short. Long story short. short. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, we're gonna answer a couple more because I know this video is getting long and I don't want it to be too long. But we're gonna answer a couple more before we go. A lot of people asked how we met. Wow, I thought I feel like a lot of people know, but maybe not. Well, there you go. We explained it already. Cool. Uh, what was the most important thing you did while wedding planning? That's a good question. That's I don't know. Question. The most important thing. Oh, I know. I feel like the most important thing, like for me, is like pictures. So, like for me, the most important thing I planned was like communicating to the photographer, like exactly where I wanted them, exactly when I wanted them. So, like we had a communion moment, we had a like prayer moment of just him and me before we, the wedding that I wanted to capture in pictures. There were just like different things. I feel like that was very important to plan before getting married. It was 
something that I felt was necessary. Yeah. What do you I'm, think I'm was grateful, most important? I'm grateful for the pictures. Yeah. That's what do you think was most important to you? Probably getting <laughs> my best friends there mm -hmm. to be my groomsmen. Mm -hmm. So that's probably, that was definitely the most important to me. Yeah. How do you feel your relationship has changed since getting married slash living together? Well, we went from long distance yeah. to married, so... We literally went from long distance to getting married, so like... To... <laughs> we went from... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but pretty much we like never dated in person, so like... We went from like not dating, long distance, all stuff, to being living together. So I feel like honestly it helped a lot. Like we grew a lot, mm -hmm. and like we just grew as best friends. Like we had so much to get to know about each other still, even after getting married. And it was just like, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I think the communication that we did throughout that year before we got married helped a ton. Mm -hmm. Communication, yeah. we the communicated so much and that was literally. Yeah. The only thing we had to just get used to was living together, which we had never done before. We kind of, yeah. we kind of, I won't say I mean, it's, together, it's the first time having like, an opposite gender roommate too. Like, yeah, that was it. We mm -hmm. definitely, we. Because of quarantine, she would stay at my house for extended periods of time, and I before would stay before marriage. At, before marriage, yeah, in separate rooms. Don't worry. In his um, family's house. Yeah, and then and I would stay at her parents' house. We would go over to visit her family. Yeah. So we kind of lived together. Well, we in the knew same what it was house. like to like wake up and the person like be in the other room or like like in the break, same make breakfast together, yeah. have dinner together, and then like be like get ready for bed together, and like obviously sleep in separate rooms. So, like we kind of experienced that a little bit. So we kind of uh, started to understand how yeah. it worked. But like once we got married, I think it was just like, it just felt like we just got so much closer. Mm -hmm. It did, it did. Yeah. I mean, obviously spiritually, physically, but just like, even just like in our friendship and in our relationship, we just grew closer together and mm -hmm. learned each other so much more. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll answer one more question. What is our Chipotle order? <sighs> That's from Caitlin. Caitlin, my Chipotle order is white rice, sometimes pinto beans. Lately, I've been doing no beans. So it's white rice, the carne asada or steak. They ran out of carne asada, so steak. The corn salsa, sour cream, lettuce, and guac. That is my Chipotle order. What is your Chipotle order, babe? I can tell you your Chipotle order. I can tell you your Chipotle order, too. Want me to say yours? Okay, fine. He gets brown rice, no beans, the fajita veggies, like the grilled veggies, chicken, Pico de gallo, corn salsa, sour cream, cheese, lettuce, guacamole. Good job. That is what it's like being a good wife. It is. Even in yours, you missed a few details that you always tell me. What? You do half the scoop of, of white rice. Oh, I do like less. And you do extra sour cream. So you know me better than I know myself. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much what no. you're saying. The Chipotle order can vary sometimes. I'll get it. It's just like it depends on what location. To be honest, like the one that we have at home, I know exactly what to tell them because they make it wrong every time. <laughs> so I always have to say extra sour cream because they gave me like two, this much, mm -hmm. or like they give you so much rice. So I'm like, Ugh. give me some less rice, please. <laughs> I think my husband's dying. You know when you don't eat for a long time and mm -hmm. your like stomach shrinks and you eat kind of we're eating kind of heavier food so I it's like you ate a lot today i had a 20 piece nugget with some fries which is not insignificant no it's not <laughs> but even that was pretty filling i don't know it's i think just it's been just a, i think it's just sitting it, in the car it's just, just been a long it's just messing day. with you it's been a very long mm -hmm. day obviously the salad we haven't touched yet i think that's going to be breakfast tomorrow like literally this whole salad we didn't even touch that's going in the fridge and i think that will be breakfast. Mm -hmm. Sorry, little salad. We were just not feeling you, apparently. I got it because I wanted to be healthy, but then all this food looked really good, so mm -hmm. here I am. Anyways, okay. Well, that's gonna be all the questions we're gonna answer this video. Probably gonna finish one more wing, and then that's gonna be it. We're gonna have to save all this food and just have it tomorrow or something or a late night snack later. Who knows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But thank you guys for joining us. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know. If you guys don't, don't let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for giving me the grace to do this kind of video this time. I think it's really fun. I love watching mukbangs. I think they're really exciting. I just love eating with other people. It's really fun. And I thought it'd be fun for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed us answering some questions while we eat some pizza, while we eat some wings. We love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah. <laughs> He's dying. I'm, I'm not having it right now. <laughs>